Hey, good afternoon, Libra. Welcome to your April 2020 tarot reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. My name is Morty. First name is Carrie. Uh, I'm excited to be here. We're excited to be here and to share your reading with you today. When I say we, I'm speaking of myself and my guides and your guides. As I've taken a few minutes to kind of meditate and prepare for your reading and I can feel a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of excitement for what's what's about to come out in your reading. Uh, today is April the 1st, so beautiful timing. It's Wednesday. The time is 1.09 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, whether your sun sign is Libra or your moon or rising sign is Libra or maybe Libra's in your Venus or maybe you're checking up on a Libra or you could just be intuitively guided to be here. Whatever the energies were that brought you here to this reading, trust those energies. Keep in mind, Libra, but my readings, they're not date specific, so it's an April reading for some of you. These may be present energies for others. These may be energies a little further into the month. Uh, but we just want to see if we can give you a good sense for the energies that lie ahead of you so that you could be better prepared stepping into the month of April so that you could maximize your experience, be able to manifest more joy and happiness and more love and abundance in your life. So let's get started. Libra. Um, first of all, let me tell you, let's talk a little bit about Libra. Uh, and, and keep in mind, this, will, this won't apply to every Libra, Libra but it will apply to many of you. Uh, just in terms of kind of describing the Libra zodiac sign. Very kind, very gentle. You're lovers of beauty. You have a difficult time saying no. All right, I like to show up. You like to come through and, and, uh, and please people. Uh, you're very romantic. You're charming. You're just. You're balanced. Right? Libra energy, very balanced energy. Uh, sometimes you can come across as being a little bit superficial, unreliable, or laid back, which is probably connected to that difficult time saying no, right? Because anytime we take on those energies, and I'm not Libra, but I'm well aware of those energies, a lot of times we can overpromise. Um, it's just, we mean well, right? We just want to come through and show up for people. So Libra, you were located and found in the seventh house. The seventh house is relationships. This is where you interact with others and how committed romantic or business partnerships work out for you and Libra you are ruled by the planet of Venus so again those are just that's just some good general information that I like to share about the specific Libra zodiac sign but let's get started with your tarot reading I want to begin your reading by taking a moment to tap the crystal healing bowl giving it a chance to sing to us mm -hmm. so Libra keep in mind this is a perfect time Right, to kind of allow yourself to step into that meditative state. Inhale and exhale deeply. Step into a, a place, where, a space in a place where you'll be open to hearing and receiving any messages that'll be meant for you to hear. Being mindful to remove ourselves from the outcome of the reading. And I want to point out, Libra, you know, keep in mind if these energies in this reading, if they're not resonating with, with you at this time, check your moon rising or your Venus sign. Uh, readings uh, in terms of tarot because you may find that at this particular time those energies resonate stronger with you. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is throughout your reading the energies that show up they could be your energies or they could be the energies of the other person that you're interacting with so just kind of listen with an open mind and keep yourself open to the energy and the communication and we'll have a great reading for you. end that came through beautiful on this end hopefully you guys heard it beautifully as well okay so exciting thing I went to the energy store the other day I was actually just window shopping I didn't have the budget to uh, to be buying anything um, however I was looking at the different tarot cards and oracle cards that they had available uh, and this deck right here the power of love really called out to me so I want to pull an energy for you from this deck is the energy taking us into your tarot reading today they're just some beautiful energies and beautiful messages Libra keep in mind I pre-shuffled my decks but I like to shuffle them one more time we're gonna split the deck three times and pull the bottom card Okay, Libra. 
let's see what's going on in your world. Okay, beautiful. So the energy taking us into your reading today, Libra, comes to us by way of virtue. The card says, you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. And I want to read real quickly to us from the guidebook about this energy. So it's, it'll be an important energy in your tarot reading, so it's just important for us to be mindful of it. Well, it's on page 111. Love that throw my spectacles here okay Libra virtue you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow you are making great strides in your spiritual evolution and others are beginning to look at you as a role model you employ the virtues of kindness service and compassion in all your interactions you've learned to send only those thoughts that support and encourage leading by example as opposed to preaching is important to you. When you live in this physical dimension with an awareness of the bigger picture, a steady calm permeates your life. Others are able to recognize this aspect of you and are drawn to you, to you for counsel. You work on this planet. Your work on this planet is also admired by those not currently incarnated, and you are receptive to their guidance. Being all you. Being a conduit for spirit and manifesting love in all you do is the greatest accomplishment of your earth journey. When this card appears in any spread, it is the most powerful message that spirit imparts. This is the card of the light worker. Yeah, light workers. A lot of, a lot of light workers out there in the world. You know, and it's interesting because right now with all of the chaos. It's, uh, I call it chaos. It's going on in the world, especially with the, um, with the coronavirus. You know, it's, it's, it's changing us in many ways. Uh, it's changing just the way we interact with people. It's changing how much we're out and about with people. Changing, uh, well, it's keeping a lot of us at home, uh, you know, under the quarantine where we're able to, you know, this is a time to take advantage of this, of this opportunity. So I feel like we're moving into the era of enlightenment. And I feel like light workers, they're all, they're, you know, many are coming to the surface. So Libra, some of you may very well be beautiful light workers. So let's get, let's get started with your tarot reading and see what the, what the cards have to say. So Libra, I'm doing your tarot reading today. I'm just going to start pulling cards from my Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck by John Holland. I'm going to use my Crystal Vision deck as clarifiers. Okay, wow, interesting. It's beautiful for you, Libra. We were just talking about with this quality of virtue showing up in your reading that many of you are stepping into a time and a place right now where you're connecting with others, where others truly are looking up to you and they're recognizing your virtue recognizing your ability to to lead and to inspire opening energy taking us into your reading today is teach which represents the energy of taurus which is the hierophant in original tarot but teaching right connecting and reaching out with others i'm going to use my crystal vision to pull as clarifiers just want to start pulling some energies and we'll get a few of them laid out and give me a chance to really kind of see and feel what's going on for you all right, Libra, tell us more. Okay, coming in next to teaching, we have dedicated effort. So this is about you spending time on your focus, right? We look at the figure here on this card. He's up on the scaffolding, and he's painting his painting, maybe his masterpiece on the side of the wall. You know, masterpiece kind of rings strong with me right now. So many of you may be doing this very work, you know, Maybe you are doing light work and you're in the process of painting your masterpiece or you've been in the process of painting your masterpiece. It's possibly this work, this energy that you've been putting in, that's what you're going to reach out to others with and in some way, shape or form, be able to connect with and teach others. All right, Libra, tell us more. Okay, coming in next to dedicated effort, we have opening up. 
So this is equivalent to the four pentacles in original tarot. So what is this energy about? It's about this very thing, opening ourselves up, opening ourselves up to connecting with others. Um, you know, there could be communication here, here as well, whether there's, there's, it's others communicating with you or you opening yourself up to communicate with others. And keep in mind, Libra, uh, you're, it's great for you to open yourself up and connect with others and to be able to share what you have to share with them because you've been focused, you know, dedicated to this effort for quite some time. And now is the time for you to, many of you, to begin teaching others, sharing what you've learned and what you've experienced. Okay, Libra, tell us more. Tell us more. Okay, coming in next we have Blossom. So beautiful energy showing up here. This is equivalent to, let me double check. I believe it's the Judgment card. Yeah, so it's equivalent to the Judgment card in original Tarot. All right, but here we see, what is she, what is she doing? She's, she's taking this energy. Right, taking this energy that's maybe for some of you connected, connected right to this dedicated effort, right? These energies that you've been spending, you know, painting your masterpiece. And here she is taking this energy, right? She's bringing it out from within her, and she's—it's like she's she's. It's like she's moving her hands around. And she's causing this this energy to grow, to, you know, to grow within her, and, and to grow in order to be able to put it out there and to share it with others in some way, shape, or form. That's coming in right underneath Teach. In fact, oh, these energies look fantastic together. Let me just hold them up for you. All right, so here we see you teaching and you taking this energy, building it up within you, right? taking your gifts, your talents, your experience, your personality, your charm, your wit, you know, because Libras can be very charming, right? And you're stepping forward and in some way, shape, or form, you're able to connect with others and you're able to teach. All right, Libra, tell us more. Okay, Libra, coming in underneath dedicated effort, we have success and growth. So it's interesting because we have the number eight right here in your dedicated effort. So I feel like it's the universe, Libra, letting you know, right? Encouraging you, those of you that have been working on this masterpiece, dedicating your energies toward striving to become better in order to grow spiritually. What lies ahead with this energy is success and growth. This is equivalent to the Eight of Pentacles, or excuse me, the Eight of Wands. All right, Libra, tell us more. Tell us more. Tell us more. Okay, <clears throat> Libra, coming in next, we have Seek. And this is coming in right underneath opening up. Seek, this represents the energy of Virgo in original Tarot. So some of you could be connected to a Virgo or you may have strong Virgo energy in your chart. But this is representing the energy of going inward. It's going inward, right? Seeking spiritual understanding, seeking that spiritual growth. I feel like for many of you, you know, it's been your ability to go inward right, and to work on and focus on your spirituality, really dedicating, dedicating yourself, your efforts in this energy. That many of you arrive to the point within you to where what you've been seeking, you've now been able to obtain. And now you're ready to open up and you're ready to share it with the world or share it with others. 
All right, Libra, let's get some clarifiers real quick. First area we want to get some clarification on is teach. Let me just shuffle this deck one more time. What clarification is, is it's just going in a little bit deeper in, by way of like, if we looked at this as an investigation, uh, it's it's examining these energies that are that are showing up for you a little bit closer so that you can get a better understanding of them. I love clarifiers. All right, Libra, tell us more about teach. Okay, coming in as the first clarifier, we have the Eight of Cups. Coming in next to the Eight of Cups, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, let me let me continue to pull some energies here. Tell us about dedicated effort. Let's clarify dedicated effort. Okay, coming in next with dedicated effort, we have the Page of Swords. Uh, Page of Swords represents air type energy. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, if so, it'd be a younger energy. You know, pages, you know, it represents not the movement of the energy, but, but the thought, the awareness of the energy. You know, this is the awareness of your truth. Right? Your truth as it pertains to Many of you, your masterpiece. This is understanding what you've been doing. Speaking your truth. Tell us more about dedicated effort. Tell us more about dedicated effort. Libra coming in next to the page of swords we now have the strength card representing the energy of Leo so the strength card this is about having the courage having the courage just like the figure here in this card as she's sitting on this on top of this hill with a very fierce animal it's a lion she has the courage to reach down and to cup the chin of the lion so she's taking this leap of faith and when she's able to do that right and to do it and perform it successfully what does it allow her to feel? It allows her to feel her strength inside. So many of you, this is coming in attached to dedicated effort. So many of you, you're gonna be well aware, right, of where you've been focusing your energy, what you've been trying to paint, this masterpiece for many of you that you've been putting together. It's your ability to speak your truth with the Page of Swords about this work, this masterpiece, sharing it with others that brings you strength. But at the end of the day, what is required, right? What's required is, for you, Libra, is to open up. Open yourself up to reaching out and, and connecting with others. Opening yourself up to sharing your truth. Right? And it brings you strength. All right, Libra, tell us more about open up. Okay, here we have the Knight of Pentacles. So here we see Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Like all night energies, it's an energy you can count on showing up. It's the most reliable of the night energies, but it's also the slowest moving. It's coming in attached to opening up. So I feel like what it's telling us, well, let me pull another energy here. Coming in next, we have the Two of Swords. So, for many of you, I feel like this masterpiece, this dedicated effort that you've been spending your energy on, I feel like it's it's you it's it's been for some of you, you may have been working on this throughout your entire life, right? representing your entire your whole life's journey. Um, 
it's taken time, no doubt about that, because here we have the Knight of Pentacles showing up, which is very slow moving energy, but the most reliable of the energy. So the universe reminding you, Libra, you've been on your destined path, no doubt about that. And coming in next, we have the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords represents a choice, a decision. Right? So at the end of the day, Libra, this is up to you. Right? It's up to you to make the choice on whether you would like to open yourself up, give yourself the ability to connect with others, to, to share your story, to share your masterpiece, to share all the lessons that you've learned. Because right? now we're kind of talking about light worker type energy. Inevitably, it is a choice, right? Should I go left or should I go right? She holds these swords up against her chest. Clearly, there's one choice that's superior to the other as it's the swords illuminating the night sky above it. Okay, now let's go over to teach. So, here we are with the energy of teach. This is about sharing and reaching out and connecting with others, sharing your experiences, sharing your gifts. With, with them, doing the, doing the light work. As a clarifier, we have the Eight of Cups, which represents the energy of walking away from a lot of the, the heavy emotions and the heavy feelings that are possibly connected to this journey that you've been on. Uh, not an easy thing to do at times. She's reaching up to grab this tree to kind of stabilize herself, to help herself out of this water. She's grabbing the tree to help herself move away from a lot of the heavy emotions and feelings, right? We don't want to take those with us towards those that we're out to, you know, to teach and to share with. Next clarifier, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So, Seven of Pentacles, and then we had the Knight of Pentacles showing up as well. Seven of, Knight of Pentacles represents a long journey, you know, it represents uh, a very reliable energy, right? But the slowest moving energy. Seven of Pentacles connected to this energy is this represents the energy of seeds that we planted in the past. So this is this is referring to the work that you've been doing for quite some time, um, putting in the energetic work. Here we see this figure sitting at this tree. She's worked to manifest these seven Pentacles, right? and now she's waiting, right, waiting to see and maybe decide what exactly what it is she wants to manifest next. All right, Libra, tell us more about Blossom. Tell us more about Blossom. Okay, first clarifier we have is the Devil card. So the Devil card represents the energy of Capricorn. So some of you could be connected to somebody with Capricorn energy. Tell us more about Blossom. Okay, and next clarifier we have is the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords represents that air, sign, air type quality. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Queen, so we think of female. Um, I mean, Libra, this could very well represent your energy. And I feel, like, I feel like it does represent your energy. Again, what we're getting clarification on is we're getting clarification on Blossom. So this is equivalent to the Judgment card. So a lot of times when we're when we're when we're navigating our way through our journey, right? We can we're taking on different experiences, and a lot of times we can take on some heavier energies and heavier experiences, which inevitably cause us to fall back on the energy of our ego, you know. And many times our ego, what's connected to that, are our fears, right? Fears, worries, concerns. Coming in as a clarifier right here with the Devil card. So. This is about letting go, letting go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns, because Libra, after all, you are walking away from these energies. Energies that just, they don't serve you, right? And they're not going to serve yourself or the collective that you're sharing with. And then we have the Queen of Swords energy, which I feel like this is representing your energy. This is doing the work, right? This is embracing this energy. Uh, letting you know, I mean, what is the Queen of Swords energy all about? Notice that she holds a sword in one hand and a butterfly in the other. So this energy uses this sword to step in and to cut out and to remove those energies in your life that are just no longer serving you anymore in order to make room in your life for the butterflies, right? The beautiful beginning. And again, these energies are coming in to clarify Blossom, which is judgment. 
So it's about you taking on this Queen of Swords energy, being aware of the energies that just don't serve you, cutting those out, removing those. And actually what you're doing is you're building up and you're fueling positive energies, right? You're, you're just like she is with this ball of energy that she's creating, right? She's let go of the limiting energies and now she's pulling the strong energies, just welling them up within you in order to go out and to teach and to share with others. All right, Libra, tell us more about success and growth. Wow, fantastic, Libra. Coming in as the first clarifier, we have the Magician card. And again, we're clarifying success and growth. So the Magician energy, represented by the energy of Mercury. Notice this Magician, well, let me pull one more, one more energy first. Tell us more about success and growth. Okay, so we're getting the clarify, clarification on success and growth, equivalent to the Eight of Wands in original Tarot. This is representing the energy of the, of the success and the growth that lies ahead of you. For many of you, as you're working on building up these positive energies and getting ready to go out and to share them with the world in some way, shape, or form. So we have the Six of Cups, which represents the energy, if we look at the figure here, in a way, here she is connected with this little girl in the water. You know, water represents a lot of emotions and feelings. So, you know, Libra, I feel like for you, this is representing the energy of, of going back to a younger time in your life. For some, this could be connected to somebody from your past because that energy is present here with this, with this card as well. And then we have the Magician energy, which is beautiful energy. Uh, this is the Midas touch. So the universe, Libra, letting you know. So anytime we have the magician energy, what, what does that mean at the end of the day, right? So I, I'm, I'm magic, right? I can, I, can, I, can do, I can do magic. Well, it does mean that. It means in the month of April, the universe is letting you know, Libra, that you have the magician energy resonating around you. So the, what do magicians do? They move unseen energy, right? They're creators, they're manifestors. He stands above this crescent moon representing unseen energy, right? You can see the power, the energy coming up off this. Notice that there's a white dove that he's standing above as well, representing unconditional love, right? So as you're moving forward and you're manifesting, and how exactly do we manifest? With our words, our thoughts, and our actions. Right? One, of the, one of the strongest manifestations that we have within us is our emotions and our feelings, right? So what's it talking about? Maybe going back to a younger time in your life, right, where you've experienced this kind of success and growth, because we've all been on journeys. Many times we're just, you know, repeating some of the same patterns and such, but the universe pointing out your awareness, right, of looking back on a younger time in your life when you were manifesting, you were creating beautifully. And what, you, what were you creating? What were you manifesting? Well, in some way, shape, or form, it's going to be different for all of you, but in some way, it, it contributed to your success and growth, maybe the success and growth of the collective or others as well. So what else can I tell you about, about the magician energy? Uh, you know, it's important that we, that we make sure that we're managing our own energy very effectively. I mean... It's like if I have limiting energy within me and, I, and I've embraced this magician energy and I'm manifesting, right? Many times, if, unbeknownst to me, I may be manifesting from these limiting energies within me. So this is a very important time, Libra, to pay attention to your energy, you know, to allow yourself to move away from, to walk away from those limiting energies that just haven't served you. And, and they could be limiting energies that you picked up on your journey, right? represented by the seven of pentacles here. All right, Libra, tell us about seek. Okay, coming in next as a clarifier, we have the ace of cups. Beautiful energy. Aces represent beginnings. Okay, wow. All right, Libra. Coming in next, we have the world card. Okay. 
Let me hold these energies up for you. So this is where we're getting our clarification. This is about seeking. This is about going inward, right? Doing the inner work, right? Maybe we're going inward. Maybe we're seeking. Maybe we're asking the universe, how can I best go about sharing my energies? You know, how can I best go about becoming the light worker that I desire to be? Uh, being able to connect with others and to be able to share a lot of the experiences that I've went through in my life in ways that will help them, help them to better understand their own energy and their own circumstances. Here we have Ace of Cups representing the beginning. So showing up here in your reading, Libra, letting you know for those of you that these energies are resonating with, right, when you're able to begin this work and, and it looks like that, you know, the time is now for this, it takes you towards this beautiful beginning in your life. A beautiful beginning, it could be a connection, right? A romantic connection, but it doesn't have to be. I, I don't, I'm not necessarily feeling this. I feel like this is just a new beginning for you, all within you, just as you're stepping out and you're changing. You're changing your life experience. You know, you maybe you've made the decision to share your truth, right? Share your truth on your dedicated effort as you've been painting your masterpiece. We know it's time because here we see the world card showing up as a clarifier. So the world card, a beautiful energy. It represents the energy of one chapter in your life coming to an ending as you're getting ready to step into and begin this new chapter. This new beginning of this chapter is represented in the Ace of Cups. So Libra, it's letting us know, for those of you that these energies are resonating with, right? If you can, if you can follow through, give yourself the chance to really open up Open yourself up to others, connecting with others, communicating and speaking your truth. That it, it leads you towards a beautiful beginning, something that's very fulfilling. Um, yeah, fulfillment. Very, very fulfilling for you on, a, on, an, on an individual level. Where you're able to close the door on the previous chapter in your life. And now maybe you're stepping into a whole new energy. Maybe it's, it's this energy connected to the air of enlightenment, right? Where you're just... You're stepping into, well, this is all about virtue, right? This is all about serving others, sharing your talents, your abilities with others, reaching out. So they're beautiful energies here. It's a beautiful spiritual message that you're sharing. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Right? So Libra, clearly you're making a positive difference in the lives of other people. It's all part of this next chapter you're stepping into. Beautiful, beautiful beginning. Okay, Libra, I want to pull one more energy for you, and I want to pull this energy from my Magical Times Empowerment Cards. This is going to serve as the energy taking us out of your reading. I just want to see what the empowerment energy is for you, Libra, in this reading. Okay, Libra, beautiful. Here we have partnership. Let me read out loud to you on this energy. Learn to grow with others. Overcome obstacles by working together. Touch each other's hearts while life lasts. So again, we had virtue taking us into your reading today. And here we have partnerships coming out. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's all very supportive of what your reading shares with us here uh, with with all these energies that we're looking at, uh, you know, working on your masterpiece, um, you know, putting together, uh, gaining a better understanding of your own life, your own life experience, maybe a better understanding of love and of relationships, a better understanding of communication, a better understanding of spiritual growth. For some, maybe even a better understanding of manifestation and how to go about manifesting. But inevitably, inevitably, Libra, right? You're, you're, many of you are destined to share this growth, to share these experiences with other people, right? To reach out and to connect with them. And in some way, shape, or form, possibly even form some partnerships, right? With some of these individuals that you're reaching out to. Okay, Libra, I think I'm done with your tarot reading. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share it with you. You guys had a beautiful reading here. Uh, I hope these energies resonate. Again, if they didn't, check your moon rising or your Venus sign readings. Uh, you may find that those energies resonate stronger. Thank you for the beautiful comments, the likes, subscribes, and shares. 
Thank you to the, all of those of you that have made uh, donations to the channel. I appreciate your contributions. They make a difference. They help me keep the lights on and right, keep the channel flowing. So I really appreciate you. Uh, as well as those of you who have ordered personal tarot readings. Right, those proceeds also help keep the lights on and keep things flowing for me here. So thank you so much. Okay, Libra, you have an exciting April ahead of you. Go out, teach, reach, reach out, connect with others, share your gift, share your light, and share your love. Thanks, Libra.